All hail to the king, baby. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the common writer Saber DX, King Excalibur, and King of Arthur Wonder Ride book. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front there, we have Saber. We have King Excalibur in both of its modes. The book, on the other side of the box, we have King Excalibur. On the other side of the box, we have King Excalibur. Up top, books and swords on the bottom. Caution, on the back of the box, we have our obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other things, stuff, and things. Warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And we have... Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for... The packaging. And moving right along, here we have King Excalibur, and this is Kamen Rider Saber's newest uh, weapon, or ally, or weapon and ally. But before we take a look at the sword, let's take a look at the included Wonder Ride book. So here is the King of Arthur Wonder Ride book, which is obviously King Arthur. And you can see the very nice artwork there of the sword, and of course Kamen Rider there. With the saber text. And of course, this goes into the third slot in the driver, being a storybook. And of course, right down the side again, King of Author. And your typical Wonder Ride booky goodness as far as the detailing goes, and your speakers, and your battery compartments, all that good stuff. So let's get down to the noises. Push the button on the bottom, and we get. As always, it tells you what it is, in case you already forgot, with a little bit of fanfare as well. And when we open the cover all the way up... Yeah, there you have that, and here we have the King of Arthur there. And again, you have all the uh, sideways text, which of course, you can decipher all that on your own time and of course you have the qr code you want to scan it go ahead free scan on me you're welcome so that is basically it so without further ado let's bring in the second sword driver and our friend the writer can because if the writer can you can let's get down to it So you have that, and now we'll do our attacks. And we'll do our scan. So now we'll bring in Brave Dragon and do the combo here.
have that. Now attack time. Explosions! And now we'll bring in the Sword of Darkness. So there you have that. And now moving on to the main event of the evening, here we have King Excalibur, and this is Saber's latest weapon and ally on the show. And it's basically a robot in the vague shape of a sword. I mean, it kind of works, but not really. It looks pretty weird, but hey, it is what it is. But yeah, here it is in his sword mode. Let me raise up a little bit here. Yeah, here it is in a sword mode. It looks kind of weird, but hey, it is what it is. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the detail. We have some nice gold paint here on the sides. You can see uh, sideways text here that says King Arthur, and it says it on both sides, King Arthur. And then you have just all the bladage going on there, just done in that silver-ish plastic. You have some more gold going down the middle, which also says King Arthur, although the rest of it is not painted in gold, but all oh, that's Arthur. And the robot mode head right there, just visible head syndrome, hey, whatever. But yeah, it's it's weird. And here's the backside, not a whole lot to talk about. There is some old detail, but no real paint. You have a bunch of release buttons here. Your activation button for your noises is right here. Here is your battery compartment. Uh, the batteries are included, so you don't have to worry about that. The speaker is right here. Uh, the on off switch is this. That's your on-off switch. So pull this out, it's on. Put that back in, it's off. That's how that works, so yeah. No on-off switch on this. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. So, let's get down to the noises. So we'll pull out the tab. There's no confirmation noise or anything. Just trust that it's on. It is on, believe me. So when you pull the trigger, you get that. That's your slashing noise. And if you pull the trigger five times in a row, you will get a finisher. And pull the trigger. And there you have the King Slasher! It explosions and things because it's awesome. And there you go, and that is uh, pretty much it for the sword mode. We get some extra noises too, but you know what? We'll save that for uh, when we get to robot mode. So, I guess we should do this the way it's done on the show. So to begin the transformation for robot mode, we're going to use this slot right here and insert our King of Arthur Wonder Ride book. And you want to insert it facing forward. And you just plug it in. And that's all that happens. There you go. So now we can begin the transformation sequence. It's how it it's how it's done on the show. I don't know. But anyway, so to transform him, the first thing we're gonna do is just take this foot, just rotate it around, and then we're going to come to the back here. And there's a release button right here. We're going to push in so we can then straighten out this top section like so, and that will lock into place. And then we're going to push this release button right here. That will allow this whole front section to swing around and that will lock into place right there. And he is quite tall. 
And the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to open up this hand. This hand is basically a clip here. So just open that up. There's a peg that goes into his other hand. So just pull that out. Like, so. Actually, no, before we do that, I'm doing this in the wrong order, my bad. Before we do all that, we need to untab the sword. There's two locking points for it. There's a tab right here. So pull that out. And then there is another release lever right here. Pull that down so you can disengage all of that. Once you do all that, then you can unclip the hand and pull that out and bring the two arms apart. Then we can straighten out the arms like so. Take the sword, just swing it around so he's holding it properly. Get his arms to position. And then we just bring his head forward and then it will slide forward. Lock into place so it's sitting in the proper position. And there you go, there you have King Excalibur. And it looks pretty cool. I did the design, I can dig it, I can dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. To the eyes, done in red, got some nice gold in there. Of course he has a little sword tip on his head, silver going down the middle of the chest, some more gold. Oh no, some nice detailing going on. And again, it says King Arthur. But yeah, oh no, pretty cool. His big old feet on the back. That's pretty much everything we've already seen. But yeah, so there you have that. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head can rotate, can do a full 360 arms. You can do a full 360. Uh, you do have bicep rotation, which is nice. You do have an elbow joint, which goes to a bit over 90 degrees of bend. Um, now, how this works is, you, if, bleh, this is where my tongue stops working. If you notice, when they're in the bottom position here, there's a little bit of flopping because that first notch doesn't kick in until you're right about there. And that's where the elbow locks. But when you have it all the way down, you're going to have a little bit of weeble wobble, unfortunately. But no more. It is what it is. As far as the legs go, the legs don't really do anything except for this foot, which can rotate. That serves no real purpose for the robot mode, as far as possibility goes, just for transformation. But there you have that. And for a uh, quick comparison, uh, here he is with the RKF Saber. As you can see, he's a pretty big boy. And here he is with Zero One's Breaking Mammoth. You can see how that works out. So, there you go. Now we do have some more sounds to play. And to activate those noises, we have this button right back here. So, when you push it, you get... And that's when he tells you who he is, in case you already forgot. Push it again. He sings you a little song. I like that. <laughs> uh, push it again. You have that. And it just cycles back to the beginning. So there you have that. Also included with King Excalibur are some parts for Saber. So you get a, oops, butterfingers. Here you get a little version of King Excalibur. Again, nicely detailed, just done all in that silver-ish plastic. The little detail that's supposed to be there is there, which is quite nice. And you also get the armor piece. And if you want, you can store all of this on King Excalibur in his robot mode anyway. It doesn't say anything about uh, storing it in the sword mode. It doesn't fit the way it goes on here, but I'll show you. You can see there's a little clip right here, and you just line it up. This is a specific shape, so it only goes on one way. So you just clip it on like that, and it just hangs out like that. You can't plug it onto this clip when it's in sword mode because there's not enough space for it. So I don't know if you're really meant to have that uh, stored in sword mode, but they have a place for it in the robot mode 
if you want to. It's storage if you want storage. But now we'll bring in Saber so we can see how this armor looks on him. So this pretty much just goes right over his shoulder. And there are two posts that go into the, uh, the screw holes into his back. This doesn't hold super securely. I wish this held on a bit better. It, it's not the most secure fit, unfortunately. It does fall off kind of easily. Even if you give it a good push, you can kind of knock it off pretty easy. But eh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It holds on well enough. But there you go. So there he has the King of Arthur armor on. That's pretty cool. You got some gold in there. You can have Excalibur just kind of there on his side as a sheath. And of course, again, just unplug this. And he can wield both swords. So that's pretty cool. So, hey. I like that we're finally getting some kind of form change armor for this line. So, hey, I can work with it. I can work with it. But Saber can also be used as a sword. This is hilarious. This is genuinely, genuinely hilarious. But what are you going to do? <laughs> I did this on the show and it's even, it's just as hilarious. So you take... This section here, you can see this is just a big blade, and as you can see, this came undone again because it doesn't hold that well. But and this is made of like a very soft plastic, so you don't have to worry about flexing it around. But just bring this around like so, and there's even a little notch for his little head blade to fit into. And you can see everything's kind of warped. I mean, you can always just take a hair dryer to it and straighten it back out. You just bring that blade up like that, and <laughs> what you do here. As we bring in King Excalibur and we open up his hand and he has that post there in his hand and that's going to plug into that port there on his back so you just kind of want to bring his arms up and then open up Excalibur's hand and just get him in there. <laughs> this is hilarious. And there you go and you can use Saber as a saber. <laughs> it's just... Oh, that is just ridiculous. That is ridiculous and terrifying at the same time. He really should have been more scared when this was going on in the show. He was for some reason totally okay with it. Like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna beat you with me as a weapon, apparently. Okay, go easy on me. That's what he really should have said, but, you know, hey, it's... Why not? Dare I say, why not? So, oh, actually, before we go, um, one more thing to point out also is uh, that um, the attack noises do still work in robot mode. Still do that. So all the explosions still work in robot mode, so there you go. So there you have King Excalibur, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, the sword mode, I mean, it's weird, but hey, it is what it is. The robot mode, I think, is a pretty cool design. Um, I like the noises. I like that it sings me a little song. Um, I really like that we get some armor for the RKF figure, even though it doesn't hold on as well as I would like. I do wish that armor held on a bit better, held on a bit more securely, but... Oh no, though, you know, some nitpicks here and there, but for the most part, it is a fun toy nonetheless. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common writer items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my common Rider Saber playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Common Rider Saber DX King Excalibur and King of Arthur Wonder Ride book. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. 
home in your face. Saber, Saber, things are getting bad out there. We might need bigger swords. I got one. What do you mean that? Oh, that's not bad. No. I mean that. Oh. Well. That'll do.